and uh, Councillor Mueller. Yeah, thank you. I attended a lot of the other events like the other councillors, but uh, being that this is my last uh, council meeting um, as an elected councillor, I just wanted again to echo the comments. You're going to hear probably almost all the councillors thank staff and the community, but I wanted to add a little context to that. Um, the community has been fantastic and the staff as well. Coming in as a new councillor, it has always been very welcoming here and uh, they were prepared to work with me um, with my many balancing issues of life um, and work and all those things. It's uh, They made it workable, otherwise it, it would definitely not have been. And um, with the community, um, I know it gets talked up that, that there's a, a really deep division in this community, but you know what I've experienced is that this community is fantastic. And um, even my harshest critics, when I got down and actually talked about the issues with them, they were prepared to give me, um, give me the time of day and actually see things from my point of view. And, uh, and I can't say that it was anything um, overly difficult. I think we've got uh, some really great people who live here and a great political culture. Um, in terms of staff, uh, all the staff worked really hard um, in difficult times or some of the fr frictitious times in, uh, in this term. Um, they, they came into work, they put their head down, but there are a few that I wanted to name um, specifically. And I think, uh, of course, um, our CAO, Andrew Yates, thank you very much for your service, sir. Um, really the point man that uh, got behind the turn of the tide, he hasn't quite been here two years, um, but it was by far our most fruitful two years. He showed that he was able to prioritize and deliver on the issues that we were looking for. Um, Director Doug Stewart. Uh, behind the man behind the financial sustainability plan, the DCC bylaw, and at one point the director of everything in this building. Um, he he kind of kept it together when uh, there weren't that many others. Uh, fantastic work. Um, I think it's important too that we um, we we set out that, that we had some younger members come in that really did a fantastic job, key leadership positions, and I'm thinking, I want to name specifically Brianna Strosky um, in her role uh, as, as Human Resources. She did a lot of the tough work to turn um, our staff morale into something that's quite positive with the Wellness Committee. It feels like a team, and I think that a lot of that um, goes back to her and what she brought. Um, Carrie Ann Polson, she is uh, she was an executive assistant to the mayor, but she also basically helped council um, at, at times when she was hired. We we had a needy council, we needed a lot, and she was the one who always put it together. And it provides this intangible kind of glue that kind of allowed us to move forward. And uh, I think she did a fantastic job. Uh, Angela Letman is somebody who throughout our term dealt with a lot of the complex planning files at times when there was no director or there were multiple interim directors in a row. And she had a lot of the history and she, she did a great job, balanced some difficult uh, personal things and uh, I think did a fantastic job. Um, I also wanna mention John Hart, who I think throughout the building boom, he kept us in good standing out in the building community and uh, I was out there, I was working in Sea Shelton this time. And I know that, um, that, that the feedback I received was positive and it was such a tough time, the building boom, the numbers are through the roof. We know that and uh, they managed to stay on top of it the best they could. So those are some of the particulars. Um, I think that, uh, you know, we, we've got an election ahead of us. Seashelt doesn't need to be concerned. Whatever happens uh, on Saturday, we're gonna have a fantastic council. We have fantastic staff and a fantastic community. So. Thanks everyone for your support over the past four years. It's uh, It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much for that report and for your confidence that it's all gonna be perfect after the election.